Alrighty, good morning. It's a beautiful, well, depends what you, how you look at it, but it's raining, but it's a beautiful day. Um, to the south, down by Pebble Beach, where the golf tourney is going on, they're getting away with it, quite frankly, right? Everybody in North California, Napa, Marin County, you guys are getting rain. Central Bay is getting some rain, and there's more to come. However, it's all been beneficial. It's all been manageable. We have some flood watches. That's been pared back a little bit. We have some flood advisories up in the North Bay where there's some standing water, but all of this is... California weather, right? And so it's thus far awesome. And in, in terms of garnering water for the aquifers, for the reservoirs, for the fishies, for everybody, right? This is how it works. For the, I had somebody point out the other day, this is all about the wildflowers in the spring. In fact, it is. These are, uh, this is from the CNFRC, the California Nevada River Forecast Center, which is a, a linked on my uh, links uh, page, but it's, awesome site i mean they got everything they got they got models they got you know observations just clink around on it a little bit um but this is the amount of rain we're expected to see in the next six days right we can manage that i mean it's a, that's a lot of rain but it's over six days it's you know essentially so this is good when i look at something like this i go okay and in, in fact yeah the, the the feather river uh up in northern california that basin parts of sacramento Parts of down by Sacramento, there's going to be some perhaps monitor stage flooding. No big deal. Don't even, monitor stage doesn't really typically mean anything. It, what it means is if there's a bunch more behind it, then you got to worry. Because it's like I was saying, it, everything's kind of cumulative in these rain events in California. I think the big story to me, if it's a big story, is the rain up around Lake Tahoe. This is Palisades Tahoe. Oops, did that. But that's not what you want to see. There's a couple of reasons you don't want to see that. Um, you're a skier, you're bumming, right? It's like, dang. Um, and there are folks up there skiing today. But in terms of the avalanche concern, right? Because the next storm that comes in on Tuesday and then again on um, Thursday, uh, colder, snow, but you're going to have this ice layer in between, and which is never good. You know, you just don't want layers in there. So um, for my friends up in the Lake Tahoe area, kind of a bummer temperatures uh, like up at, on the mountain at um palisades right now are in the mid 30s up high up high you know barely enough to create sleet and snow and so here's it's just raining it's flat out raining at uh, placerville or no i'm sorry this is eastbound 80 this is kingvale so caltrans camera and there's no they're not really chaining up are they they will be the chains will be coming out pretty soon. I'll show you in. Um, a real quick look at the rainfall, just because I don't know about you, but first thing I do in the morning is check the rain gauges because in the at my house, just because it's like, okay, well, how much did I get, right? And then I compare it with what I'm seeing um, from other sources because where the rain gauge sits has a lot to do with how much rain you get. So I used to live in Marin. I had a sick-ass property up on a hill, overlooking um, Mount Tam, Napa Valley. It was kind of like on this hill, kind of by Loma Alta, if you know where that is. Um, but uh, I would have, I think I had two or three rain gauges and I would go to the front of the house and the rain gauge would say two inches. I'd go to the back of the house and the rain gauge might say two and a half inches, right? So it's a function of tree drip, wind flow, right? If you get put a rain gauge too close to a building or too far away from a building and it gets too much wind, it blows the rain right over it, it, it it's a it's really persnickety so when i look at these raw observations from california river nevada river forecast center everything's a grain of salt but you can triangulate right and you see the reds right and again this is the last 24 hours this is you talk about manageable rainfall in marin county this is what you want to see even on the russian river where they'll go to monitor stage in some of those areas up by healdsburg on the river in a couple of days but I'm not seeing any big, big problems. We're just having, you know, America even pared back the flood advisory or the flood watch for the Bay Area. They kind of disincluded areas south of the, the Bay Bridge um, in that flood watch. But we'll still see. We're going to get we're going to keep getting rain and it's coming in a really nice fashion. The next rain comes in as you look at the rainfall. I should get to that. But um, the, the, if you get breaks, which we're going to get a little break this afternoon. And then we're going to get another little break on Monday. And then we're going to get wet Tuesday, a little break on Wednesday, back wet Thursday. So, But those breaks give everything a chance to just percolate down. So again, when I look at these numbers, I'm stoked. Because that is the best. Because this can go the other way, right? You get, a, you get an atmospheric river pointed and, and just, I've seen them stick 
We've, we just had one in Marin the other day. It's, remember a couple months ago when it just stuck in the Marin County watershed and dumped over a foot of rain in a very short amount of time. But as you go south, you see our friends in San Jose are getting rain shadowed, number one, by the Santa Cruz Mountains, right? That's what that is. This is an example of orographic lift because you get the big rain on the um, west side of the Santa Cruz Mountains. You get on the inside of the Santa Cruz Mountains and you're getting a third or a quarter of the rain that they're getting like uh, let's see uh, down here 0 .0, 0 0.01 400ths one one hundredth and on the other side of the hill they're getting over an inch and a half so and then we go down to pebble beach only because it's always fascinating to me they got a golf tournament down there um which is awesome but it's like wow it's an interesting time of year to have a golf tournament and they get away with it more often than not don't they? I mean, I think all my years doing this, we're, we talk about Pebble Beach a lot because it's movie stars and stuff. Um, but they get away with it. Okay, so this is the atmospheric river. Uh, this is where we are right here. And the core of the river is kind of from this, from us up into, geez, probably up into Humboldt County. And that's going to keep coming. And then this would be our next event for kind of Monday night into Tuesday. So we'll watch out. And that thing's got, why is that going to be uh, loaded with more rain? Because it's got the fuel, but it's also got the dynamics, which we talked about the other day with the, um, with the 500 millibar vorticity, vorticity being the, the energy to pop that moisture into action. And that's what's going to happen on Monday night, Tuesday. Okay, and we'll see that here. Here is the GFS. Remember, this is uh, updates four times a day. It is... Not granular, it's a good model, it's a global model, so it, it's not super um, dialed, but it gets better every year, obviously, with the, the components going into it. But anyway, here we are now. This is this morning, and then this is this afternoon. You see, and you see the bullseye on the Sierra Nevada, so it just keeps going. And then this is Monday morning, right? So there's your little break on Monday. This afternoon's a break, too, I think, for the most part. And then it starts to tilt. That's that low I showed you, remember? And it starts to tilt. And then to Monday afternoon, there you go. That's a front. Dynamics, wind, lower snow elevations. And it translates through by Tuesday morning's commute. And it continues. Well, actually, I, I didn't, it doesn't really translate through. It hangs on. So Monday night into Tuesday, it hangs on. That's Tuesday afternoon. And then it translates through, right? So there's that's one. So we got two systems this week that we can kind of identify because before we weren't identifying systems. We were looking at the moisture plume. Now we've got some dynamics, which we were talking about the other day. So there's your break, break, break day. That's Monday to, so that's, pardon me, that's uh, third Wednesday into Thursday. And then Thursday morning, this shows up. And that's a very nice looking weather system. Same thing, colder system, some wind. You see the ice, see the lines close together. So that's, so let's back this up again. We got today, no big deal. We got um, Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon. Okay, so let's call it, let's call it the, let's call it the Tuesday system. And then you've got a break on Wednesday into Thursday. And then you've got the Thursday not afternoon or Thursday afternoon system into Friday. So Thursday, let's call it Thursday system. <laughs> let's go Tuesday, Thursday. Let's say, but it looks like it's overnight on both of the nights. But anyway, so Tuesday, Thursday, let's keep our eyes on those. In between will be various amounts of um, precipitation. Like today, it's going to be kind of scattered showers at times. This is the H triple R. And I want you to see this. This is the model that updates every hour. It doesn't go out very far, but it's more granular. And so this is every hour today. So you kind of see where we are. And that's it's a tough forecast, right? But you do see it start to lift out there. Now we're into Monday morning. And then now we're we'll get a little break on Monday morning. And now we're into Monday night. And now we're into Tuesday. That's your Tuesday system. So that's the HRRR. Again, Monday or Tuesday, Thursday is what we're talking about here. So here's the fill in here. This is 12Z on Monday. So that's this is the accumulation of rainfall. So that's there. Now you won't shouldn't see too much more in our latitude until we get to Tuesday right there. And then there's the bull and those bullseyes are familiar, aren't they? This is 
Abhishek River love topography and that's topography. If you think about the mountains of the West Slope of the Sierra Nevada, think about the Cascades, think about Trinity Alps, think about mountains up around Humboldt, Point Arena, the coastal hills are very high and you see what they do, they garner a lot of water. And so then you see the full brunt of this thing as it goes through the next mm, 10 days or so, well, actually through the 18th. So I'm on, I, I mean, right now I'm, I'm enamored with this uh, Monday night, Tuesday, and then this Thursday thing, right? Wednesday night, Thursday. So we'll watch those Tuesday, Thursday. Those are the days right now that I'm thinking we're gonna be in like, oh, it's raining storm. So the rest of today, scattered showers. Monday looks kind of okay, dry, manageable. And then Tuesday, we're back in it. And then let's just do that. Let's not even talk, but we know there's something out beyond that on Thursday. But again, we're seeing breaks. Um, sometimes these Abishuk rivers, it's really, they're really hard to define, right? Because you got we actually had two moments there where we could define what was coming. And that was the GFS picking out that Tuesday, Thursday thing, broad brush. And it's going to move around a little bit. So this is the National. I just want you to see they're, they're loading up in the Pacific Northwest and on the inner mountain or in the Rocky Mountains because a lot of cold air is going to drop in with that Tuesday system for us. That's a cold front for us now. And so the really cold air is going to drop in and there's going to be a lot of moisture available from our atmospheric river that's lingering in this area that's going to hook up. So this area is really, I think those are blizzard warnings, are they? No, gale, uh, gale warnings, winter storm warnings. I guess it would be blizzard warnings, but winter storm warnings up in here, snow advisories, wind advisories right here. Um, and then there's our flood advisory there. So yeah, there you go. And then this is tomorrow. Um, the U.S. map, I'm just thinking in terms of how you're traveling, looks pretty easy to me. Not much going on the East Coast. I look at the hubs, right? Chicago, Dallas, right? Florida, uh, Atlanta. Um, but us, here we go. And L.A.'s down here, my friends, I'm sorry. I got, I got some pictures for you today from Los Angeles, but not a lot of uh, rain coming your way yet. But it will. It'll get there. You'll saw you, some of the models are suggesting this tail end of this week, it starts to get drippy down there, which will help a lot. This is up above Carmel, again, Pebble Beach. Um, out here, you're looking towards, well, what are you looking towards? You're looking kind of towards the north, northwest. And you can see not how far is Carmel from Marin County. It's far, but not that far. So it's, it's not raining. It looks pretty dry to me. They've had rain, but it's been pretty dry. So a beautiful day down there, and I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm really happy for them because they, uh, yeah, it's a big tournament. It's kind of fun, the celebrities and stuff. Uh, this is, these are the jetties down by Huntington. Temperature today, 66 degrees. Southern California is awesome. You're not wet at all, but you will get a little bit wet as we go through the next few days. So that's the, it's, I think the takeaway here is flood advisory has been pared back, which is good for the Bay Area, uh, that we are managing this water well. And the forecast looks as though we'll be able to manage it well as we go through these next two systems, Tuesday, Thursday. The big thing in the mountains would be it's raining, no travel concerns until Tuesday, but it's raining and the snow levels, it's, you know, the snow levels are like 65, 7,000 feet. And my concern for avalanche danger, because it's going to snow a bunch on that Tuesday, Thursday, those, those two days, those two next systems that we're tracking, it's going to snow a bunch on that ice layer. And that, as you know, that's bad, 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 bad. And they'll get more than a few feet. So that's going to be like, okay, they're going to have to, you know, do some avalanche control and there'll be avalanche warnings and things like that. Okay. That's awesome. Hope you have a great day. I'm actually going in the office tonight. Uh, if something comes up, I'll, I'll be back here. Thanks.